Hi, my name is Brandy, and I would like to take a moment to share a little bit of my postpartum journey with you guys. I am the mother to two beautifully brilliant daughters that keep me quite busy, <laughs> and I have a small but still significant story to tell. When I was preparing for the birth of my first daughter about eight years ago, I began to collect and read all of the baby books. I downloaded all of the apps. I took all of the birthing classes and I felt pretty confident in my skills as a mother. Um, in fact, I had at the time two degrees in child development and years of experience working with children. So I was fairly certain that I had the tools in my tool belt to survive motherhood. The time came for her to be delivered and she came into the world with a bang, just like she has continued to do her entire um, eight years of life. <laughs> and while her birth was quite traumatic for both her and I, we survived it. We journeyed through that together and we made it home. Um, after, you know, making it home, she and I both decided um, to start our breastfeeding journey. Um, thankfully, I'm very blessed in that my mother-in-law is a lactation consultant. So with her help, my daughter and I and her, we worked through all of those breastfeeding schedules and, and milk supply issues and all of that. And while it was hard, we journeyed through it together and we survived it. Um, my husband and I, we navigated through the, the, the new terrain of being new parents and careers and marriage and while it was probably very difficult on our marriage, um, after several months, we kind of found a, a common ground and we journeyed through that together and we survived. But there's one area of my postpartum journey that I don't really share with a lot of people and I haven't really opened up about it. At the time, it was labeled postpartum depression. To me, that was what was called baby blues at the time. And... I struggled with postpartum depression, which is now called perinatal mood and anxiety disorders. And I truthfully believe that would be a more appropriate diagnosis for me. Um, I didn't know how to reach out to anyone. And while I had journeyed through breastfeeding, delivery, marriage, life with a newborn, with other people, and I had such a supportive family, I journeyed through the darkest time of my life alone and isolated. I allowed my pride to get in the way of me seeking help. At the time, I thought I could handle it on my own. I kept telling myself, suck it up. You wanted this. You wanted to be a mother. You can handle it. And it wasn't until almost six months after she was born that I found myself completely and utterly broken and in pieces and lying in a hot shower. I found myself on the shower floor and I remember in that moment just thinking that I did not want to exist. What a sobering thought for someone who had a supportive family and a beautiful life laid out in front of her. I didn't want to exist. I never once thought about hurting myself or hurting my baby, but what I did feel was isolated and numb. It was at that point that I realized I needed help. Thankfully, that sobering thought of needing help led me to asking my OBGYN for help, and she linked me with some medicine that really helped and was appropriate at the time. However, I didn't reach out to anyone else. I took my medication, and I continued to work and be a mother. I didn't really tell anyone about how dark and how hard and how isolating that time was. It wasn't until about a year ago that I really reached out and I shared some of the thoughts and, and how hard that time was in my life. I allowed my pride to get in the way of me seeking the help that I needed. And it was all because I thought you're tough. You can suck it up. Get over this. Instead, I now realize that perinatal mood and anxiety disorders are very common. And had I known how common they were then, then I probably would have had a little more grace on myself and I would have reached out and gotten help. Here I am, eight years later, alive and well, and I survived it. 
I survived it alone, but you don't have to.